So now to a new series dedicated to something we could all use, a good snooze. We talk a lot about sleep around here. We're not alone. Studies show most Americans aren't getting enough. Today's Erica Hill is here with a new mission to change that. Erica, good morning. Hey, guys, good morning to you. Ariana Huffington of the Huffington Post is launching what she calls the Sleep Revolution. She's just written a new book by that name. And it's not just that she's advocating a solid night's rest. She also says sleeping on the job can be a good thing. Does your morning feel like this or more like this? For millions of Americans, a solid night's sleep is just a dream. I think we need to dispel the myth that we can function perfectly on four or five hours. Ariana Huffington, founder of the Huffington Post, is on a crusade to change the way we sleep. Studies show more than a third of Americans say they don't get enough. How did we get to the point where lack of sleep, exhaustion, pushing yourself to the limit became a badge of honor. It all started with the first industrial revolution, believe it or not, when we started believing that human beings could become like machines and we could minimize uh, downtime. So sleep became a luxury. What emerged was a kind of overachiever, high-powered American notion that sleep is for slackers and a scant five hours a night is the sleep of genius. Huffington believes we're ready for change. We already see CEOs like Jeff Bezos from Amazon, like Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, openly talking about needing eight hours of sleep to be super effective. Most of the time we would have CEOs bragging about how little sleep they get. The push for more, better sleep is also personal. After collapsing from exhaustion years ago, Huffington encouraged employees to unplug at night and added nap rooms to her offices. When we first uh, opened them, there was a lot of skepticism. People were worried that if we were seen walking into a nap room in the middle of the afternoon, it would mean they're not as dedicated, not as hardworking. We have completely eliminated that stigma. And it's very clear now in our entire newsroom that having a nap in the middle of the afternoon is actually a performance enhancing tool. And the science backs those findings. Sarah Mednick, a researcher at the University of California, studies sleep and brain activity. She says power naps during the day turbocharge your memory and boost productivity. The benefits that we find for napping include alertness, motor memory, um, which is your ability to sort of play piano or play baseball, um, and also declarative memory, which is your ability to remember things like my phone number or my name. The benefits differ depending on the time of day. Research shows a short nap in the morning can boost creative thinking and memory. In the afternoon, it can help you feel better physically. A 20 minute nap in the middle of the day is gonna be the best kind of nap because you're not going to get into deep slow wave sleep and make you feel groggy when you wake up. Before society began to shun those extra Z's, plenty of successful, well-known leaders embraced the ritual, as did sports stars. And now, more companies are cozying up to the idea. Google, Zappos, and Ben & Jerry's all offer nap rooms, similar to those at the Huffington Post. It's kind of just ingrained in our company culture to take naps. And it's kind of the same thing as if you would take an hour lunch break. I'll find myself naturally waking up after 20 minutes. You kind of find that that is a good sweet spot for feeling recharged. A feeling Ariana Huffington predicts will catch on, fueled by the science that shows more sleep is not only better for your health, but also the bottom line. I really predict that in the next few years, nap rooms in offices are going to be as common as conference rooms. Ariana says she's looking now to bring the discussion to college campuses, so she's going to be visiting 50 schools with leading sleep experts to spread the message about the importance of sleep. She wants to get people thinking about it at a younger age so that it becomes yeah. just a normal part of who they are. I like the mission to kind of change our concept. You know, the, yeah. they used to be, oh, I don't need four hours. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm so no. strong. It's like, we need sleep. Who I'm embracing naps, the fact though. that I need I'm I'm a nap. Or at home. I have such a hard at time home. napping. I yeah. nap for like two, three hours. I, I'm yeah, like I mean, a midday oh, wow. sleeper. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's a, a whole that's night's sleep. sleep. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I nap when the baby naps. Yes. Erica, thanks. By the way, Ariana's book, once again, is called The Sleep Revolution, comes out tomorrow. You can find an excerpt at today.com. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.